So landscape photography is not rocket science, right? You see something inspiring, you see something interesting, you take the picture. This is clearly a severe oversimplification, but sometimes it's the simple things that you can do in order to set yourself apart from every other photographer out there. In this video, I've got a few tips to show you that's gonna help you set yourself apart. Uh, this is gonna give you a chance to uh, take something new and try something that you haven't done before and maybe elevate your photography to a level that you haven't been before. So getting right into the tips, I'm gonna start off with something that seems stupidly simple, but there is a little bit of nuance to it here as well. So have you ever scrolled through social media or other YouTube videos or just the internet in general, and you see all these videos and pictures of uh, the behind the scenes of people taking photos uh, with workshops or groups or, or anything like that? You know, they're generally at some of the popular spots. They're generally at something that's like really sought after. But what do you see? you see a dozen people or a bunch of people just standing around with their tripods, shoulder height, taking their photos. Everybody is taking the same photo. So what do you do about that? So if you wanna get a new view in those situations, there's a few things that you can do. The first thing is you can get low. Get lower to the ground, bring your tripod down, you know, maybe sit down on a rock, you know, get lower to the ground. Take your image from a lower angle of view depending on what you're taking, that can be the difference between that good, that good photo and a great photo. Uh, the next thing that you could do is you could go higher. You know, if everybody's shooting at shoulder height, maybe you can stand up on something, get up into the back of a pickup truck or stand up on a wall as, you, as long as you're doing it safely, you know, get up a little bit higher. Again, that change in angle is going to be what makes a difference. We all see from the vantage point of our eyes. I'm just over six feet tall, so I see everything at the vantage point of somebody who's six feet tall. If I go a little bit higher, or if I go a little bit lower, that vantage point changes a lot, and it also changes how your scene is going to look. For your larger sweeping scenes, some of that may or may not make a difference, but when you get lower, you could actually use uh, the focus of something on the ground or something closer to you to make a very interesting foreground. So changing those angles, changing where you're taking your photo from can make a huge difference. You could also step away from the group altogether. If everybody's taking their photo from here, maybe you go over there or go over there, get something a little bit different. So the second tip is gonna be one that seems also a little bit elementary, a little bit easy and a little bit simple or oversimplified, but it's something that may or may not come across your mind when you're out taking your photos. You see something really cool in your, in your scene or you see something really cool in your photo, but you feel like that there's just something more to it. Uh, get your telephoto lens out, zoom in. When you zoom really far in on a particular subject, you can actually subtract all the distractions that are around the photo, away from the photo. You can improve your photo by subtracting things out of it. Uh, when you simplify your scene and you simplify your composition that way, you can actually make the subject of your photo very interesting or much, much more interesting than it was earlier when it was zoomed out with all of those distractions in place. So you can zoom in on something to make it interesting or if you're actually using your telephoto lens, switch to your wide angle lens. So take a look at your scene, take a look at what it is that you're focusing on, take a look at what your subject is if you would normally use a telephoto or a wide angle, maybe this time do the opposite. Some of that will be enough that will give you enough difference in your scene and enough difference in your image to help you elevate that image even further. So the last tip that I wanna give you is another simple one. You wanna take your photo through something. Now this may not make sense because if you wanna take a photo, you actually want a clear open view in order to see your scene or see your subject. So shooting through something or taking your photo through something may seem a little counterintuitive, but what I'm saying here is maybe use a couple of trees or use a, a rock that's split open or a formation of rocks to help frame your scene. You could also use an unnatural frame, uh, something that's man-made to help envelop what your subject is. 
So if you take that image through whatever it is that you're using, you can help frame your scene a little bit and you can help frame your subject a little bit. That helps bring the interest into the subject rather than leaving things open. It's like I said, it's a little bit opposite of what I said just before about zooming in, but it's also uh, very handy to use when you are using a wide angle or if you are taking something that's larger and sweeping, you wanna be able to frame it and give it some context. Uh, to your subject. So that way it makes it a little bit more interesting, helps you tell that story a little bit better. So at the end of the day, these tips are merely a guide to help you along your way, to help you elevate your photography. If you want to elevate your photography more, make sure to stay tuned to this channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if while you're at it, if you want to give me a like on this video, that would be great too. But like I said, if you really want to elevate your photography, really, you know, help make interesting photos and really help yourself with your storytelling or composition follow along on this channel i'll be covering a lot more as we're going along we've already covered a few different things this will help you along your way thank you very much for joining me i really do appreciate it and like i said give a subscribe if you haven't already give me a like a thumbs up on this video and thank you very much again get out there take some great photos and i'll see you again next week